Hey everyone, welcome to another session with Kelsel's Arcade. This is Rob and... Lee <laughs> And as you can tell, we're super excited to be doing a review of the eagerly awaited Star Wars Pinball Machine from Arcade 1UP. This is our 11th cabinet, so I uh, gotta say we are big fans. However, we will try our best to give you an honest review so you can make your own decision on whether you want to add this table to your collection. Uh, now, we are going to be showing some gameplay. Uh, lots of gameplay, I know that's what people are looking for. I'm going to cut those short in this video just so we can show all 10 tables and not spend an eternity watching. But I will put the full videos into a separate playlist so you can watch uh, the full gameplay at your leisure should you so wish. Now, you can see we've got the cabinet set up, ready to go behind us. Let's jump back and get stuck into it. All right, so after playing for 48 hours now, we have a ton of content to share with you all. Far too much to fit into this video, um, but we will create a separate playlist where we'll just dump all the raw content that we created. Um, this will be a cut down review try and cram as much in as possible, but for those who want additional detail, it'll be there for you in the playlist. Um, but for now, first things first, let's jump into some gameplay. As you can see here, this is just super fluid. Um, the frame rate is excellent. Uh, I turned off the ball trails, I didn't like that. You can do that in the settings. Um, I just love this gameplay. It's a really immersive experience. Um, the depth that you get from the screen being dropped down is excellent. Uh, really, really good job here. Really impressed with this screen considering it is only 720p. All right, so now we've seen a bit of gameplay, let's take a look around the rest of the cabinet. Of course, the plunger is an awesome feature, helps bridge the gap between virtual and physical. I'm not sure if they upped the power output from the speakers on this, but um, it certainly sounds a lot louder, it sounds bassier. I think the speakers are a better quality. And obviously, with the awesome music on this cabinet, I think uh, it deserved the upgrade. This little rear LED screen here is also pretty cool. I guess they could have made this uh, you know, a full video format, but I love the kind of retro effect. It's, it's super cool. It, it keeps in keeping with the table actions and activity. Uh, it also is used for things like entering your name for the scoreboard. Dropping down under the cabinet, you can see it is fully adjustable. You've got about an inch and a half of adjustment there. And as I said in the unboxing video, this is a sturdy cabinet. It's heavy, the legs are super strong. If you stud this next to say Marvel vs Capcom and asked me how much each one cost, I would think this was more like a thousand bucks and at Marvel vs Capcom like 500. That's not to say that I would pay a thousand bucks for this table. Clearly I was considering pinball, looking at stern options from 4,500 bucks and above. But for a virtual pin, this is a very attractive price point. There's a meteorite to hit the ground near here. I want to check it out. It won't take long. Now all I gotta do is find this Yoda. If it exists. Use the force. I guess the final thing to point out here is the protective pads by the buttons so you don't damage the artwork. So I did see on Facebook earlier a lot of people were asking about, you know, how big is this? Is it big enough for an adult to play? It's not as big as a real pinball, but it does fit in nicely with these systems. And here's some footage of myself playing it. I'm six foot, 200 pounds. It's certainly plenty big enough. I'm using a standard arcade one-up stall here. Very comfortable to sit at and play. I could also stand up and play it quite comfortably. So, uh, next let's take a look at some gameplay from one of my favorite tables, uh, Han Solo, which Lily is demonstrating here for us. Look, this is suicide. There's nowhere to go. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Excuse me, sir. Might I inquire what's going on? Laugh it up, Fuzzball. We would be honored if you would join us. This is suicide. That's never to go. That 
That looks pretty good. What looks pretty good? All right, so that's enough from Han for now. If you want to see further gameplay on that table, do have a look in my playlist, and I've got some extended gameplay in there for you. All right, so let's take a look at the settings available in this cabinet next. When you first boot up, you'll be able to select the language. You've got English, French, German, Italian, Spanish. So it's going to cater for the Americas and the MIA markets right out of the box. It then gives you a quick overview of the main controls and buttons before you get into the game selection menu. And it's from this game selection menu that you can either press both flippers at once to get into settings or you can press the front left button just to get into this settings menu. What's nice here is that you've got separate sound effects and music and physics volume controls. Um, I set the music lower, sound effects slightly increased, and physics up to max, which extenuates the haptic feedback, I think, and gives you a bit more of an immersive feel. And then also on the game selection screen, you can also click into the detailed instructions, which talks about the different levels on the table and different features and how to score points, etc., to complete the table. So fairly uh, extensive menu system here, very intuitive to use. The only thing that I would add, uh, and this isn't a reason not to buy the table, but a, a feature request, if you will, for the team at A1UP, really need to add, I think, a setting in here for color, contrast, and brightness on the screen. I think on a couple of the tables, particularly the Boba Fett table, colors look a little bit washed out. So adding that feature, I think, will improve the, the visual effects of the table. So next, I want to show you a bit more gameplay. We're going to show you Masters of the Force table. Um, I want to talk about um, a couple of additional things, just uh, flipper, um, controls, haptic feedback, and then maybe the elephant in the room, jaggies, that everyone seems to be talking about. So let's talk about Jaggies first. Um, clearly on the start menu, on some of the intros to the tables, there are no Jaggies. So I don't think the jaggedness that you can see is necessarily due to it being 720p. I think this is more to do with the Zen Studios game format. You know, these tables are not just tables, it's a 3D environment. You see that in the cutscenes. Uh, when I play these same tables on my Nintendo Switch, uh, the Jaggies are just the same. So. For me, this really doesn't detract from gameplay. It really doesn't bother me at all. If it does bother you and this is going to spoil the experience for you, then you know maybe consider getting a 4K V-pin table that you build yourself. Uh, it's going to cost a lot more than this. So if you're spending that much, I would say just go for a stern table and then you've got a nice physical table. But otherwise, for the price point here, this is perfectly acceptable. In fact, I would say it's a lot better than I expected. So let's use the Rebels table next just to demonstrate um, the finer points on uh, flippers, on motion, um, and talk about any potential lag. So first of all, the haptic feedback on the flippers is instantaneous. There's absolutely zero lag that I can notice on there. And there's also no lag on pressing the button and the actual flipper flipping. Um, so this is really good to see. You, you might have expected if the tables were running at a higher resolution maybe, you may have experienced some lag, particularly when there's a lot of things going on on the screen, um, but certainly no performance issues whatsoever. In fact, the ball uh, movement is extremely smooth. If I compare this to my Nintendo Switch, I bought the uh, Star Wars pinball game for that and literally played it once or twice because I could never figure out where the ball was. 
Um, the flow and the ability to keep track of the ball on this table is incredible. It's, it's as good as playing on a physical table, in my opinion. Um, and I think a part of that is the haptic feedback. So when the ball hits a bumper towards the back of the table, it feels like the haptic feedback and the sound is coming from the back of the table. And it's really that, that depth of play here that you shouldn't underestimate what Arcade 1UP has achieved here. This is not just whacking uh, a screen into a box and putting a virtual pinball game on it. They've really thought about the physics. And for me, it's that that makes this such a fantastic experience and an entry level, if you will, purchase into the pinball world at this sort of price. It's incredible. I can't say any more about this. It's fantastic. All right, so thank you very much for watching so far. I realize this has been a longer review than normal, but there is a lot of gameplay, a lot of features to get through to tell you about on this cabinet. Now, as a huge Star Wars fan, I love it. Where does it compare though in our top 10? Before I go into my summary, I want to give uh, Lily the chance to give us her summary. Yes. So overall, what did you think to the cabinet? Me and Pog think it was really fun and amazing. Okay, um, Lily's not a fan of all of the arcade one-up cabinets, but we did do a top 10. Uh, where does this place in that top 10? Uh, around top three. Around the top three, so my top three was Star Wars number one, followed by Marvel vs. Capcom, followed by Outrun. Uh, Lily favoured Outrun first, um, then Marvel vs. Capcom, then Star Wars. So. If it's in the top three, which of those three cabinets would drop out of your top three? Mm, probably the Marvel vs. Capcom. It's not as unique as some, um, uh, like Outrun and Star Wars. Okay, yeah, that's true. There's, we always like the unique controls and the artwork on the arcade one-up cabinets. That's why we picked those over at Games, for example, or, or iArcade, which are both excellent systems as well, but we just prefer uh, the A1 ups. So, where would you place it above Star Wars? Is it better than Star Wars? Yeah, just like a little bit. Okay, so Lily thinks better than the original Star Wars. Is it better than Outrun? Is the big question because Lily loves Outrun. No, but it's probably a really close call because pinball is fun, but same with Outrun. Okay, so that's a close call. It's a close call. So a close second for A1 Up Pinball. Personally, I still love my original choice, the A1 Up Star Wars with the yoke. It's just one of my all-time favourite games. I also love Marvel vs. Capcom. I love all Capcom games, in particular Street Fighter. Um, I'm not sure if I can place it above Marvel vs. Capcom. Um, I'm gonna say it's better than Outrun though, so I'm gonna place this number three for me out of the 11 we've got. It's a close two for Lily. I think that's a huge, huge thumbs up uh, for the A1 Up team. The first pinball, the first generation cabinet as well. So why would you not buy it? Um, number one reason to not buy it is if you don't like Star Wars. <laughs> that's pretty obvious. Yeah. <laughs> There's only Star Wars games on this cabinet. Uh, number two reason I've seen a lot of people complain that it's only 720p. I think those people complaining don't actually have it in hand. Honestly, it does not detract from the gameplay. The screen is a bit smaller because it is indented to give that depth perception. I would honestly rather have an indented screen to give that depth than it being flush with the top of the cabinet. I think it just makes for a better gaming uh, experience. Um, and then people are also saying about the Jaggies. Yeah, it has Jaggies. Um, is that as much to do with the 720p versus 1080 versus just the, the game design? You know, Zen Studios games on, on the Switch also have uh, Jaggies. This has Jaggies, yeah. Do you notice them when you're playing it? Absolutely not. I think the main thing for me on this table is there is zero lag. when you press the flippers, there's no lag. When you hear the haptic feedback, there's no lag. It's 60 frames per second. It's just super fluid. The overall experience of this cabinet is amazing. If you haven't pre-ordered it, try and pre-order it. If you have pre-ordered it, sit tight. 
hopefully they're coming. But just huge thumbs up to the A1 Up team. Um, we think, uh, unfortunately, we're going to end up buying more Arcade 1 Up pinballs, especially. I'll be on the lookout for Attack from Mars, just for some different types of, of, um, of pinballs on there. Um, but if you re release that universal table, we will be first in line to pre-order that. So, great job. We love it. Happy gaming, everybody. See you all soon. Yeah!